Usually creativity is the product of one or two or possibly three minds working together. In the arts, mostly probably one. But in science, what has happened is because of the big money and prestige that goes with enormously expensive equipment, research papers now have as many as a thousand names attached to them. But Rutherford's paper in 1911 had only one name on it, that of Rutherford. That was a different era in which people could think freely. But nowadays, the pressures for conformism come from the huge hierarchy of science. And it's been argued, I think persuasively, that an enormous number of truly creative insights happened in science across the sciences in the early part of the 20th century, and that we've had a regression since. Really big breakthroughs in how we think about the world and the cosmos have not been happening on the same scale, partly because of this need for always to be in collaborative groups.